And in just a few minutes, all of you students will become Trinity alums, creating your own inspiring stories. As we recognize and celebrate our honorands, there is another life we honor today, and that is the life of our friend and classmate, Chase Hyde, who passed away this fall. His death was a profound loss for his family, friends, and our entire community, and his absence is deeply felt. In a ceremony yesterday, we paid tribute to Chase by engraving his name on a brick on the Lower Long Walk. Chase's name will endure there along with the names of his classmates and his memory will live on. Before I begin my charge to the graduates, please join me in a moment of silence to honor the life of Chase Hyde. And now, to the graduates of 2019. You have all given me a gift, and gifts aren't always easy to accept, but true gifts are treasured forever. Do you remember it was a hot summer day in early September 2015. We gathered here neath the elms for the first time for your convocation. And as Brooke mentioned, there were a few more elms on the quad at that time, and darn that invasive ash borer that has taken down some of our beautiful trees. And that day at convocation, we gave each of you a brown paper parcel tied with a ribbon. I asked you to unwrap the packages, and inside you found the t-shirts signifying the Bantam Network Nest. It was a new tradition that began at Trinity. And whether you were in the Book or Brownell Nest, the Lemon or Washington Nest, the Elms or Olmstead Nest, the Cannon or Lockwood Nest, or the Menti or Roosevelt Nest, you will forever be the inaugural members of that nest. You all made history. Think back to those first days, months, and years that followed. They went by so fast. You made friends for life, you reached out to people completely different from yourselves. You tried new things, and you visited places you had never been before. Maybe even downtown Hartford. You challenged yourselves academically. You protested something. You thought seriously about what's right, what's wrong, and what you stand for. You challenged me, and you pushed Trinity to be its very best. Along the way, you helped launch initiatives like the Liberal Arts Action Lab, and you advanced, and you advanced environmental sustainability on campus. You achieved academic, artistic, and athletic successes that are simply too numerous to list here. And, in addition, you've had some fun. You made deep, lasting connections with teammates, with club mates, and of course, with faculty and staff and with me. You left me with the gift of music, sometimes very, very, very loud music. <laughs> living as I do across from St. A's and A.D. 
Thank you. Here's a little music. Not singing. A little music. Now, I love you all. Really, I do. But there are a few of you who have touched me deeply. Simran Shaith, you brought an energy and enthusiasm and a love of culture to Trinity. You invited me to every event that you organized with a beautiful invitation. You reminded me of your name for three years straight, and you did so with a smile. You filled the Washington room many times with joyous people, and more importantly, with your warm, generous spirit. You tried to bring me a cake on my birthday, but I was out of town. And today, you received the trusty award for student excellence. Semran, you are a connector. Christina Mealy, you helped found Stella, a new sorority on campus. You expressed yourself beautifully in dance concerts. You were a mathematics major and models and data minor. And of course, you were president of the Student Government Association. You can give her a clap. <laughs> you learned that leadership isn't always easy, but it's incredibly satisfying. You were always gracious and thoughtful, leading with a strong moral compass. You have emerged from your experiences here wiser and more resilient. Christina, you are a leader. Michael Zara, you were the President's Fellow in Neuroscience, the highest honor that your department could bestow upon you. Your love of neuroscience and Trinity were contagious. You strategized with me about how to create a vibrant intellectual community at the college, one that would outlast your time here. You designed and executed the very successful Creative Brain series here on campus. And I am certain that is only a preview of what you will do in the future. Michael, you are a doer. <laughs> to all three of you and to so many more who have touched me, you have left an indelible mark on this place and on my heart, and that is a gift. In case it's hard for you to see the progress that's been made at Trinity because you're so close to it, let me share a little perspective made possible by time and distance. As I stand here and look out at this beautiful sea of faces from around the country and around the world and from every possible background, I am distinctly aware of how impossible this would have been just 50 years ago. Nearly every aspect of this wouldn't have been possible, including the fact that an African-American woman is president of Trinity College. It was just 50 years ago, as you heard from Brooke, that Trinity committed to admitting women as students. We have been honoring that monumental time in our history with a celebration of 50 years of co-education. It's a celebration that will continue into next year, and I invite you all to come back to participate in it. Those women from the class of 1973, the first to graduate after four years at Trinity, were pioneers, and many of them have remained deeply committed to Trinity and its continued evolution and progress. We are forever grateful for their historic strength 
and commitment to propel this institution into the future. And now that tradition is in your hands, you have been given a great gift, a Trinity education. You have been given teachers, mentors, coaches who care deeply about you and have pushed you to be your best selves. You have learned to be problem finders, not just problem solvers. You have been a part of a caring community of staff and administrators who have frequently run interference behind the scenes so that you can thrive. You have helped, you have been helped by alums who have provided you with internships and jobs and welcomed you to the network of Bantams. You have been supported by family and friends who rooted for you all along the way. You have lived in a city that offered some great food, some fun, but a city that brings into sharp focus some of the deep divides in our society and how you can make a difference in bridging those divides. You have a real world context for your liberal arts education. What will you choose to do with this gift of a Trinity education? How will you empower others? How will you transform the world? I will forever treasure the gifts that you have given to me, and I can't wait to see how and what you do with your gifts. Congratulations, class of 2019.